What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and shortly after uh, recording my first uh, episode about Magic Bullet, um, it turns out a whole lot more support actually got uh, released. And you know, I, I, I pre-record things like two, three days in advance, so you know, when like the day of, I don't feel like pressured, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when it's like, I feel like I need to make a video today, and then I feel like the... The pressure of like recording is honestly something that uh, it kind of can sometimes get in the way of me actually making the video. So what I do is I record stuff like a whole bunch of stuff, like random stuff that that's just on my mind, like two, three days in advance. And then the day up, I just edit and upload it because that's a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I do with Magic Bullet. I, I made this like two, three days ago, like the actual recording, and then or well, the first recording anyway. And then uh, between then and now, uh, or whenever you see this video, uh, more support actually got shown for it or released by Yuga organization. So I'm gonna have to do a part two, or like <laughs> without even uh, like uh, unexpectedly, like out of the blue. So the first one we have is Magic Bullet Shooter Calamity. Now we all know if you watch the first one you know that all the magic bullet monsters have the effect where you can activate magic bullet spawn trap cards from your hand and they usually have a uh, effect that activates when a spell trap card a magic, or not even just a magic bullet but any spell trap card is activated in the same zone as the magic bullet monster or same column and that includes your opponent as well so um if your opponent activates a card in the same column uh, your magic bullet would also get, to get its effect, which means, you know, this is why I think a card like Shutline might see more play in a deck like Magic Bullet, because, you know, your opponent would have to choose between you getting plus or the possibility of their card being negated, you know what I'm saying? So, it definitely is something that I think does give the deck a, a, quite a bit of power, because, you know, options always give decks more power than they should have. So, uh, yeah, back to Magic Bullet Shooter Calamity. Uh, so, you know, you can activate Magic Bullet Spell Chop cards from your hand during either player's turn. And um, if a Spell Chop card is activated in the same column as this card, you target one Magic Bullet Monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. So, we have yet to see a Link Monster for this archetype, but um, I assume there's another level 4, so they could probably go into Exceeds. Um, but if there isn't going to be a, a specific Magi Bullet um, Link Monster, then there could probably be, uh, like, you know, you just run a few generic Link Monsters for this deck. Because this deck seems to have a, a lot of searching and special summoning power, so uh, sacrificing resources for bigger monsters won't seem like too much of a big deal. But, um, honestly, I think I would just keep the Magic Bullet monsters out. They, they seem a whole lot better. Like, even keeping one Magic Bullet monster out just allows you to have so much control during your opponent's turn. So, I, I do think that is something good. So, next we have Magic Bullet Shooter Doctor. And, uh, level 3 Fiend. Light. All of them are light. And, you know, obviously the whole Magic Bullet Spawn Chop card from your hand thing. So, if a Spell Chop card is activated in the same column as this card, you add a Magic Bullet card with a different name for that card deck to your hand so he searches you any magic bullet card if you activate a spell shop card in the same zone as him. like if you activate a rota <laughs> you're you're going plus one if you activate rota in the same column as him. like this deck just reeks of meta so much it really it really does i'm like how like there's no way this can't be meta there's no way this this is already looking way too broken all right <laughs> I would really, I would really be surprised if this would, if this did not at least top a tournament, alright? At the very least, top an event. So, next we have Magic Bullet Shooter Star. Light Fiend, Effect, Level 4. Attack not that much, but, um, its second effect is that if a small chop card is activated in the same column as this card, you special summon one level 4 lower Magic Bullet monster from your deck. Not from your hand, from your deck in defense mission. There is no way, there is no way 
this deck isn't going to be meta. I'm, I'm saying it right now. There's no way this deck is not going to be meta. All right. And, you know, knowing the TCG, honestly, these cards aren't going to be called Magi Bullet in the TCG. <laughs> They're going to censor it so hard. I, I don't know how yet, but it's going to be called something cheesy or something that has puns galore. And um, it's, it's still going to be pretty meta. We're still going to see it a lot. It's just it's going to be like one of those totally awesome or Zodiac things where it's just like, why? Like, we're, we're going to just... We're just gonna feel so cringy at first. Cause, well, it's gonna feel so cringy at first because it's like, why does this? Why do they have to call it this? Like, this is so stupid. And then we get to a point like a few months later where it's like everybody's just used to calling it that, so nobody really cares. So next we have um, Magic Bullet Cross Dominator. It's a quick place ball card, and um, yeah, I think the only spell cards for Magic Bullet are gonna be quick place ball cards simply because uh, their effect to activate Magic Bullet Spawn Track cards from the hand during the end player's turn is our continuous effects, right? So, that being said, uh, that continuous effect allows your, um, your your spell cards to have uh, pretty much a, like, you can, like, you, you can use them as if they were shop cards. Now, for cards that are speed spell 1, that would kind of be game-breaking. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, I'm not saying that it would be, like, any more broken than it already is, but it's like, spell cards are speed spell one, all right? So if my, so let's say it's it, it's my opponent's turn, they go into main phase one, they activate something. Uh, I wouldn't be able to activate a normal spell card from my hand because it's not speed spell two. But it's like, the way that it's worded is that, because it's a magic bullet spell chop card, I'll be able to activate it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it'll be it'll be a bit confusing, but it's like it, it would make normal spell cards like it, it, it will, will kind of like break the game with that mechanic. So they, I think they're they're gonna take the safe route and just make everything quick play. So you know it can be like it actually makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And you know obviously the trap cards, trap cards, trap cards from the hand makes sense as well. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you understand what I say. All right, so uh, cross dominator, quick play spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. And if you control a magic bullet monster, you target a face of monster on the field, and that monster's attack and defense become zero. Also, it has its effects negated, if any. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, and, and it's only until the end of the turn. But this is like a greedy venom fusion dragon. All right. If you, if you don't know what it is, look it up. It's like a, it's, it's one of those fusion that requires a Predator Plant plus a, not even a Predator Plant. I think it does. Dark plus a Dark level layer higher. I think that's, those are the materials. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what he does. He, like, you, you could just target a monster in the field. It's not a quickie like this card is. And this card, all you have to do is control a Magic Bullet monster, right? And in a deck like Magic Bullets, um, you don't have to worry about cards like Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone because you're chaining the card. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, except for this continuous chop card right here. But you know that that's that's that's, it's, that's like the only continuous chop card, all right? But you know, for the other three Magic Bullet Spawn chop cards, it's like you, you won't have to set them, so they're not as susceptible to cards like Tornado Dragon and Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone, which are really famous right now and uh, really everybody's using it, so it'll be easy to get around those cards, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have to set your actual uh, back row. And so it'll be easier to control the board if you know which, like, cause if you set like a, uh, actually it'll be easy for your opponent to read when you set cards like Shutline, if you even play it. But you can kind of like play that mind game with your opponent because if you set a uh, spell chop card in magic bullets, they go, okay, it's probably not a magic bullet spell chop card because why would they set it? You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's a shut line, so I'm not gonna send my monster in that zone. You know what I'm saying? But let's say you have two magic bullet spell and chop, <laughs> not spell chop, uh, monsters now, and uh, so now you have two different zones. Uh, two different columns where if you if your opponent were to activate a spell chop card in one of those columns they would uh, you would get some type of plus and your opponent would want to avoid that 
so you know uh, they activate it when the comms that they're not. Now, now it would be in a situation where um, you would have one of those, one of the other zones that doesn't have a magic bullet monster. You have three sh set shut button, and that's when you're gonna get your opponent. All right. But that's if your opponent isn't scared to you know play play into the mind. Game, you know what I'm saying? They had, they pretty much have to call your bluff. That's, that's pretty much how it works. And then they have to avoid using certain zones if necessary. If you set it next to, like right under your opponent's extra deck monster zone, if you set shot line under your opponent's extra deck monster zone, um, I think it will be real broken. Um, I'm gonna leave shut line's effect on the screen uh, in case any of you guys forgot it by now, but um, it's another column based card. It's like a solemn judgment. No, not, not even. It's more like a solemn scolding, because scolding negates monster spell and chop effects and uh for anything that activates in the same column as it so um since link monsters are going to be like are going to make the game a lot more column based and uh so it's something that we'll probably see more play in the future but for right now or maybe around its initial release it won't be that good but it's something that in the future will definitely have a lot more use so let's get back to this Magi Bullet. Uh, this last card is Magi Bullet Devil's Deal that's definitely getting censored. <laughs> but uh, yeah, one Magi Bullet monster you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Or no, Magi I, I said one as if it, it, like the card actually said one. No, it's, it's just the first effect. So Magi Bullet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. It's a continuous chop card, so no Raigeki, no anything. It's just as long as, long as it stays on the field. And second, if this card is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect. So, this actually um, gets some type of benefit for being a uh, continuous bone chop card. You know what I'm saying? Because if your opponent were to pop it, you would, you would, you would get a search. So, it's like they would have to decide where to keep it on the field and let your monsters have uh, a, a small protection or to destroy it and pretty much get you a search you know what i'm saying that's actually pretty crazy i mean this you know this deck just reeks of meta man like i'm, I'm smelling it so hard right now it's like it's like when you sit next to a hobo in the subway like he like he fills the whole the whole subway cart it smells like a damn hobo so everybody moves out man that's how strong it is like i like i'm sitting right next to magical like you can smell it throughout the whole subway cart but i'm sitting right next to it all right, that, that's how strong this smell is. That's how much I feel like Magic Bullet are gonna be better. But yeah, um, <laughs> it, does, it does still look like an interesting archetype. I don't know if they're getting any more support. We've already seen 10 Magic Bullet cards so far. Um, you know, I think for a uh, initial release of an archetype, I think 10 is probably somewhere where Command would stop. We'd probably see one or two more cards at most. Maybe a Link Monster, uh, maybe something else, maybe something small. But I think this is uh, everything that we're going to have in its initial release set. And maybe a uh, small bit of support here and there in the future, but I think this is what we're, we're getting for now. So yeah, uh, this this archetype looks pretty cool. It looks it looks legit. It looks like the next meta. But tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, any agreeers, dis disagreeers? Um, any comments? Any questions? Um, yeah, uh, I, I guess that's really all for now. Um, this is Magic Bullets. Nistro here. Nistro out.